What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Lorna Marie. Welcome to my crib. We are in the main living room. This is where the kitchen and our couch, this is where all the magic happens. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen. I love my kitchen. It's just freshly renovated. We have the butcher block top. They have this much counter space. It's a luxury in an RV and I'm very grateful for it. Next up, we have this industrial size refrigerator. I'm gonna let you guys have a peek inside the fridge because it wouldn't be a Cribs video without looking inside the fridge. Okay, one of the things that I love about this RV is we have a residential oven and cooktop, which is so unheard of in an RV. We also took out our microwave and everything on top here is all usable stuff. So I have my plates, my wooden stuff, my oil containers, everything gets pulled right down and I love it. How everything turned out on top, even my kids cups match the aesthetic. I have everything on magnetic things here so that way nothing falls off and we can keep everything elevated and off the counter. Then we have all of our kitchen utensils, little cutting boards and stuff. I use this, we can strain things with it. All right, you guys, this is my pantry. Like I said, I have a whole video on how I redid everything. So if you wanna check that out. have our oil diffuser always have a crystal lamp you guys this is our glorious coffee bar I love this so much I would consider this part of the kitchen it's got all of our cups plates appliances all of that stuff inside I also have a video on that for you guys but this is just where we put all of our coffee cocoa we have our drink maker a hot water maker sprinkles all the stuff that you could possibly need and I just love the way that it looks and we have this beautiful wall that we had redone and it turned out so good Okay, so this is my huge, big, amazing couch. I wanted it to be like a restoration hardware couch, like I think it's the cloud, where it's super wide. They actually had to fit it through the window and it fits literally like a glove. When you close these slides, it goes right up against the island. So we all can fit on here, our whole family of six, which is amazing. So I love my couch. It's so cozy and I just love it. This is my desk area, which is so perfect. We have these two stools that we actually use for the couch. When we're sitting on the couch, we can pull these out and put our feet on them. This has a huge drawer right here, which is amazing. And I just love my little vibe that I've got going on. We got the little twink twinkle lights. And then we have this sad area. I had this put in so I could put an herb garden. If you know how to grow an herb garden, please let me know down below. I need help. All right, you guys, so next up, I am taking you guys into my kids' room. Let's go. All right, so this is the boys side and each kid has their own bunk. All four kids are in here and everybody says, oh my gosh, how do you have four kids? This is how, we're barely in here. We are hiking, going on excursions, doing all kinds of stuff, going out to the best restaurants, going to the beach, living our best life. So we come in here, we sleep, we're either out there on the couch, the kids do their homework at their desk, which I'll be showing you guys really soon, but that's how we live our life. We don't just put our kids in their bedroom. You know what I'm saying, do you? Anyways. One cool thing for privacy is the kids have this thing here. If they want to come up here and like read or just get away from the kids, the other kids, they have their own spot that they can do that with. Here, in this section here, this is an extra bathroom, which it's used for storage right now. So we will not be going in there, but this is where all the kids hang in their jackets and the kids have this cute little table that I just bought off of Amazon. Same situation on the girls' sides. This is where the kids put all their clothes. They have these drawers right here. Each kid gets a drawer. That's all they need, guys. You don't have to have an abundant amount of clothes. We definitely do minimal living. So this is their side, but yeah, that is it for the kids' room. All right, it is gonna be really hard for me to get in the bathroom and show you guys. So I'm just gonna peek my head in here and show you guys around. But we just have two cabinets here. We put our laundry down here in this basket this cute little decoration. Everything is white and gold. I just love how this turned out. The light and the wood mirror and the gold accents. Everything is so pretty. And then I do love this cabinet that we put in here. Usually RVs have a very weird shaped 
cabinet and we actually got this squared off one here which I think looks amazing. We also have a mirror on the side of the door here. I'm going to take you guys into the bedroom next. Let's go. Okay, so this is my little mirrored area. I love it so much. I have like the amethyst looking stones, the light up stones around it. I knew I wanted to do the altar here. This actually used to be a dresser and I wanted more space here. I have all of my favorite items from all of the places we've ever been. And I just, I love this place. This is like my sanctuary, my, my altar, my, my place of peace. That's what this is. This is where the magic happens. This is my queen size bed. Um, I have these vases on the side I got from Hobby Lobby. I actually have them down with Velcro, so I never have to move these, which is amazing. I got the, I forgot where I got this guy, but I have these curtains here and I feel like it makes it look more homey. We had like the wood sliding doors and I was like, no, 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 no. And then this is one of my favorite pieces. I have this giant dream catcher, which I love so much. And the walls used to be like a gray color and we painted those white. So I think it turned out really, really good. It makes it feel more spacious in here. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video of my entire RV tour. It was long awaited and we finally made that happen. But now it's time for you guys to go. Come on, let's go. It's time for you to get out. Bye. Love you down. Down.